it can only be described as a dream year for Grockenstein stud. Really, if ever, have we seen one stud farm dominate racing and breeding in the country as Drakenstein did for the 2022 and 23 season. I give you the Drakenstein stud. Nominee, Mrs. Gaynor Rupert. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause. Drakenstein walked away with equus titles of champion breeders and outstanding breeders. But Gaynor Rupert was also named equus champion owner, making for a rare double achievement. Such was their impact this season that Drakenstein and Gaynor Rupert nearly accomplished a whitewash across the three major racing provinces, achieving this double in not only their home province of the Western Cape, but also in KwaZulu Natal. Kevin Somerville. And for the first time, taking home the title of champion owner on the high felt. So Fundi Sitebe invited on stage on behalf of Gaynor Rupert. Of the three grade one flagship races in the country, Drockenstein Braids won two and ran second in the other. Winchester Mansion won the Hollywood Bets Derb in July. Jet Dock won the World Sports Betting Cape Town Met. And Safe Passage ran second in the Betway Summer Cup. Quite remarkable. That said, there was an indication of greater things to come when the season before Drakenstein produced 18 individual stakes winners, taking home an Equus Outstanding Achievement Award. The sensational story of but their phenomenal record of 20 individual stakes winners this past season, amassing stakes of 33 million rand, saw them raise the bar by a staggering 13 million on their previous high of 20 million rand, 9 million clear of breeders in second position on the log. Drakenstein's phenomenal season was not necessarily by design, as besides retaining select fillies to race for obvious breeding purposes later, they also ended up with several colts, which was somewhat unusual. Gaynor Rupert's top three owned and bred stakes earners in Charles Dickens, Winchester Mansion and Triple Fortune were all produced for sale, but as luck would have it, ended up being retained and raced under the Drakenstein name. Charles Dickens bypassed the sales ring due to the dorsal displacement of his soft palate. Winchester Mansion was also retained after breaking a vertebra in his neck as a yearling, and Triple Fortune failed to meet his reserve at the 2020 Bloodstock South Africa National Yearling Sale. Life has a way of working out as these three performers, incredibly all by the same Grockenstein stud sire, Trippy, collectively won nine graded races this past racing season, accounting for no less than 8.5 million rand in stakes between them. Quite a smashing trifecta of horses. Gaynor Rupert! Charles Dickens is trained by Candace Bass Robinson and a boom horse of the past season when announcing his arrival with an eye-catching win in the grade one Hollywood Bets Cape Guineas. He wins the Guineas easy! Two gallant seconds in both the grade one Lomorant's Kings Plate and grade one Splash Art Cape Derby saw him then go on to win the grade two World Sports Betting Guineas at Hollywood Bets Gravel. Charles Dickens won it! Look, he's um, has absolutely you know, a star for us, uh, you know, the flag bearer for Drakenstein and, um, you know, for Gaynor, he's a really, really special horse. He followed it up when victorious in the Grade 1 Hollywood Bets Gold Challenge. But the sensational story of Charles Dickens continues. Charles Dickens won the Hollywood Bets Gold Challenge. It's phenomenal to watch. Really just gives you a feeling that no other horse will be able to give you. You know, a horse that's done a lot for racing, he's got a huge following behind him horse like this before and I don't think with my father either we had a horse quite like this um, that can turn it on like he does. Charles Dickens's tally for the past season showed six wins from eight starts and prize money of 3.5 million rand. He was named Equus Champion three-year-old Colt and Equus Champion Myler. Winchester Mansion was placed with Brett Crawford in Philippi. He only made his debut at three, showing promise when winning the Grade 3 World Sports Betting Pocket Power Stakes. 
At four, he was placed in the care of Brett's son James at their satellite base in Rheinkiesfontein. Prepped on the high field for his Durban campaign, Winchester Mansion was a narrow second to Pakaya in the Grade 2 World Sports Betting 1900. Produced an authoritative win in the Grade 3 Hollywood Bets Dolphins Cup trial. Winchester Mansion unwinds to win. See it again. And then held off See It Again in the 2023 Grade 1 Hollywood Bets Durban July in sensational fashion. Come down from heaven, how do you feel? <laughs> I'm not quite down from heaven. I'm so happy we've had the season from heaven and um, I've, I've, it's been such a long dream. And a dream for both Brett Crawford and Cabello Mazzognani. Brett, how do you feel? I'm like, uh, we, um, I'm a bit uh, speechless to be honest. Certainly a dream come true. My first group one ever in my career to be of July. From May next year, it's going to be you and Winchester Mansion at the airport. You've taken Bling's place. It's Thank yours. You. Well done, Cabello. Thank you very much. Brilliant. Stare moments. Winchester Mansion, Drakenstein stud, Brett Crawford, Cabello, Matsignani. It's a year of firsts at the Hollywood Bets Durban July. Having set all kinds of South African records here today, Drakenstein stud, Bread horses made up seven of the 18 runners, five of which raced in the famous blue and white socks of the Drakenstein stud, nominee Gaynor Rupert. An incredible achievement for one stud. Winchester Mansion was named Equus champion middle distance horse, having won three races from seven starts this past season for prize money of 3.2 million rand. As with Charles Dickens, Trip of Fortune is trained by Candace Bass Robinson. He came into his own as a four-year-old this past season, winning four graded races, starting with the Grade 3 Hollywood Bets Matcham Stakes and the Grade 2 World Sports Betting Greenpoint Stakes, before travelling up to the High Vault to win the Grade 1 HF Oppenheimer Horse Chestnut Stakes, whilst en route to champion season in KZN. Trip of Fortune won the HF Oppenheimer Horse Chestnut. To Gaynor, Kevin, and the whole team at Drakenstein, what a fantastic achievement for them and uh, to come up here and win a group one, especially with this horse. Couldn't be happier to be up here and to, to collect a trophy like this that has such, you know, such incredible history for South African racing and, you know, obviously congratulations to Gaynor. Um, it means the world to us, so thank you. Trip of Fortune won his first outing on the coast when landing the Grade 2 Independent on Saturday Drill Hall Stakes. And it's Trip of Fortune who won it. With a further three credible Grade 1 performances, his tally for the 2022-23 season reflected five wins from 11 starts for 1.7 million rand in prize money. Trip of Fortune was awarded Equus Champion Male for the past season. Completing the quartet of homebred Grade 1 winners this past season is the filly Rain in Holland, expertly handled by Sean Terry. The previous Wilkerbostrift Triple Tiara winner won the Grade 1 Wollavington 2000. She's such a good filly. Whilst the four-year-old homebred mare Santa Maria also won the Grade 3 Hollywood Bets Diana Stakes and the half-brother by William Longsword to reign in Holland, its reigning William, landed the Grade 2 Legal Eagle Stakes. The then juveniles in Winter Cloud and Distant Winter added a further trifecta of Grade 3 wins to the Drakenstein homebred tally. So happy to um, have these juvenile fillies showing such, uh, such talent and from such good families. Besides those horses retained and raced under the studs banner with Gaynor Rupert as nominee, Drakenstein breads have also made dreams a reality for others. Up the outside, Jet Dark fly. Jet Dark won the Grade 1 World Sports Betting Cape Town Met. No words really to describe the honour of owning this horse. In a, an amazing feat by, by Gaynor. And, and her team at Drakenstein for, for breeding a horse of this quality. He's an extraordinary horse and um, we, we're all in love with him and, and we wish it could go on forever, but it can't. <laughs> Life has come full circle for Jet Dark as he stands his first season at stud alongside his own sire, Trippy, at Drakenstein. 
See it again is running an absolute cracker. It's Charles Dickens. See it again is absolutely flying and see it again got there. See it again won the Splash Out Cape Derby, giving Michael Roberts his first grade one win as a trainer. It's fantastic. I waited a long time for my first group one horse. I've had some decent horses, but not just up to this level. Vicky, I'm so proud of my father, Michael Mace Roberts. He's a true living legend and I'm very proud he's had his first group one winner. I know Gaynor must be very sad that Charles Dickens didn't win, but she bred this horse, who is a fa fabulous horse. See It Again is coming at Dave the King, the last hundred. See It Again went on to win the Grade 1 Daily News 2000 and run a phenomenal second in the Grade 1 Hollywood Bets Durban July. Here comes Winchester Mansion, See It Again. This is a big, brave performance from Future Pearl. Future Pearl won the unofficial Stayers Triple Crown when landing the Grade 3 World Sports Betting Gold Bowl. The Grade 3 DSTV Gold Vase. Thundering away from them. And the Grade 3 World Pool Gold Cup. To Future Pearl. Future Pearl won it by two lands. So well done to Drakenstein Stud. I mean, they've had a phenomenal season, and you certainly can't win races without the horse. So it certainly starts at the breeding farm. He took home the title of Equus Champion Stayer for the past season. Pekaya's coming home, storming on the outside. Pekaya's going to get up. Pekaya won the Grade 2 World Sports Betting 1900 for the Duke of Richmond Syndicate, of which Gaynor Rupert is a member herself. It's an it's a amazing bunch of people put together by Gaynor and uh, just very proud to train for them. A further eight listed winners in Beach Bomb, Grazing in the Grass, Somerset Morn, Future Girl, Gold Poker Game, Bureau de Legend, Dawn of a New Day and Sheila brought the tally of feature race winners bred by Drockenstein this past season to 20. That's a lot. Well done, Kevin. No, no, no. Yeah, thanks very much, eh? With four Grade 1 winning sons in Charles Dickens, Jet Dark, Trip of Fortune and Winchester Mansion, picking up four Equus Awards, veteran champion Drockenstein Stallion, Trippy, was recognised as South Africa's outstanding stallion for 2022 and 23. And Drockenstein's run didn't end there, as the dam of Charles Dickens and the listed Hollywood Bet Settlers Trophy winner, Somerset Morn, was named Equus Champion Broodmare. We strive to do as, as well as we possibly can and, and each year try to be a little bit better. Owners like Drockenstein, I mean, uh, you cannot ask for more patient, trusting people. A big thank you to, Ga to Gaynor once again and to, to Kevin for, for all the trust. Well done to Drakenstein, said to Gaynor, Kevin and the whole team. Just big thank you to the, obviously to Drakenstein, you know, you've bred a nice horse. Drakenstein said can't thank you guys enough. Just got to say a big thanks to Mrs. Rupert, thanks for her patience. So thank you very much for all their support. Thanks to Mrs. Uh, Gaynor Rupert, the uh, Drakenstein, breeding this horse for us. To Drakenstein, everyone there, well done. Again, all she's having a great run. Every time there's a feature race and she's got a runner, it seems to run well. Really well done to them. Um, they've got some super fillies, and uh, you know what a wonderful operation they run, and certainly wonderful for them to be able to take these fillies back to to continue with him. They put a lot of effort into it, and you just got to go look at Drakenstein to realise what goes on. To work with horses like this is an absolute privilege. I can do nothing without the horse and without the owners backing me in every decision I make. I just want to dedicate this one to Miss, Miss Rupert. Thank you again for all the support she, she throws into the yard to me. Um, everything she does for the game, we're really grateful and I want to dedicate this one to her. Thank you. She doesn't miss a race and she'll be watching this one and uh, we'll have screamed him home. So, you know, special thanks from Gaynor. We all love the game and, you know, we want to see good horses win. So, thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, yet again, give it up for Team Drakenstein. It's Gaynor's passion and enthusiasm for the sport of horse racing that that makes my job very easy and uh, this is all to her and congratulations to her and you know obviously to all the trainers and jockeys that have brought the success for us this season it's been a special one she asked us the other day you know what is it this year that's made us special you know how, how we succeeded what's made us you know succeed this year and um, to be honest again it's it's your continued enthusiasm and dedication and passion to Drakenstein and to South African racing that 
makes us strive to succeed. So this is to you and thank you very much for, for your passion for South African racing. Thank you.